This is the Morello showroom at Schusselfeld in northern Bavaria, Germany. And now I'm going to have a look at this vehicle, which is the Morello Palace, which is also the one which is over here. This is a vehicle which costs around 217,000 euros. It is 250 centimeters wide. It's got a length of 899 centimeters, 355 centimeters high. It has 205 horsepower, 151 kW. This version is a bit cheaper because it is used. It is on a seven and a half ton basis and that gives well over a ton of payload. Exact figure off the top of my head, I can't remember, but as this has already been sort of converted further, um, there may be additional equipment in it. So as you saw, it's got uh, just over 20,000 kilometers on the clock. And uh, so, there's a huge garage there. Let's go in. You've got space there for your shoes. So you can take them off just before you come into the van. You don't even have to sit on this chair here, which is the one which I always say is there to take your shoes off in. This is sometimes called the bar approach. Um, it could, the, the table slides out further. I don't really know why it's called a bar. If anybody knows, please say. There is a bed up the top over the driving position. If you wanted that taken out, you could do so in a new version. This, of course, is a used version. So uh, you get it the way it comes. Things you want a new version, you're going to have to wait quite a long time to get one. There's such demand. At the top there we have a skylight which will give a lot of uh, light and look at the amount of room that we have around here. The driving position, well the wheel comes off and uh, though when you're driving, or when you're not driving, when you're just sitting here, you've got a fridge down there, cup holders, the console here blends in as though it were part of an interior furnishings. So I think that uh, that is particularly uh, good, well done the way it's, uh, it is. And uh, of course um, there are no other companies who do the same thing as far as that's concerned. It's part of making it into a home, or in this case, into a palace. Sitting here, we can see we've got the glasses up there, got the kitchen, and look at the amount of light in here as well. And we're indoors here. So this, he's got this uh, feeling of space. Having said that, one of the feelings though of space is the uh, is caused by the width. And uh, if a vehicle's 250 centimeters long, that really is quite a lot, at least it's here in Europe, I know in the United States people are used to it, but there we're not here, so 250 centimetres is what, it's about 8 feet isn't it? So it's uh, quite, in fact a bit more than that, uh, so that's uh, that's quite wide in my opinion, I know I wouldn't feel uh, right uh, driving some, that, something with that width. You've got your access to your gas down there, so you can turn your gas on and off should you so desire, but it's recessed and there will be a cover for that as well. So you can see there's a big fat fridge, a freezer and an oven above that. 
the electrics are here and can be hidden by this cover there. In the kitchen we have got a huge amount of space here for preparation. You've got a main sink which is seamless completely and beyond that we've got the drainage sink both of which have normal domestic plug holes. The covers as well are pretty heavy. Got the coffee machine there which goes up and down and you can stick your pods in there. deep drawers look at the amount of preparation space bins and you've got two bins in there for sorting your rubbish accordingly. Next to the fridge wardrobe And back here we've got the wet room, or dressing room as I now call it. Big mirror, seamless sink, the tap comes out, should you need to wash your hair or something. There you've got the shower. A walk-in closet toilet. This one's got a tile effect. Skylight. And heater. There you've got your thermostat, which is quite handy actually having it in the bed because uh, you can sort of put, the, put it on when, while you're still in bed. Step up to the bed, nonetheless it is quite low so I don't really think the step's necessary. Now, should you so desire, you can close the door here and you've got a dressing room which is uh, then um, made. You've got, I mean, it's a pretty big one at that as well.
if you go to my site motorhomefulltime.com you can find more details about this vehicle there put in Morello Palace into the search engine sliding pantry good for bottles in some of the uh, other versions of the van they've actually now put uh, here a slide out uh, wardrobe which is handy for your coats and things as you come into the vehicle so what do you think of that? you like that or not? we'll have a walk around then we'll see the other one layout in here I don't know how old this one is, nor do I know the price. So if you if you want to know those things, you'd have to contact Morello yourself. So the sink. Drainage area. I think the colour of that's quite novel. Slide out pantry. The same setup for the uh, fridge, freezer, and oven. Now, enormous B 
the head, the back. Wardrobes either side. Although the skylight's much smaller. Seamless sink. And wardrobe. also comes on. Two plug holes in the shower. Always a good idea in my opinion. Let's now have a look around it. So if you found that interesting, there are other films on my site. I've filmed all of these vehicles and uh, you can see them all in uh, other films, should you be uh, so interested. Alongside many other motorhomes as well.